Welcome to Piping Engineering World. Today in this video we are going to learn about 20 most important pipe fitters interview question with answers. Before we are going to start the video please subscribe us and also join us on Telegram channel and follow us on Facebook links are given in the description. Now let's start the video. Question number 1. How can flanges be classified based on facing? Answer. Flanges are classified based on facing as flat face, FF, raised face, RF, tongue and groove, DEG, male and female, MF, ring type joint, RTJ. Question number two. How the gaskets are classified based on the type of construction? Answer. Based on the type of construction, gaskets are classified as Full face, spiral wound metallic, ring type, metal jacketed, inside bolt circle. Question number three. What are the criteria for selection of mock of spiral wound metallic gasket winding material? Answer. The selection of material of construction for gasket winding depends upon, dash, the corrosive nature and concentration of fluid being carried. The operating temperature of the fluid. The relative cost of alternate winding material. Question number 4. What are the most common materials used for spiral wound metallic gasket winding? Answer. The most commonly used material for spiral wound metallic gasket winding is Osnitic stainless steel 304 with asbestos filler. Osnitic stainless steel 316 with asbestos filler. Osnitic stainless steel 321 with asbestos filler. Question number 5. How the pipe fittings are classified based on end connections? Answer. Pipe fittings are classified based on end connection as socket weld fittings, screwed end fittings, beveled end or butt weld fittings, spigot socket fittings, buttress end fittings. Question number 6. How can flanges be classified based on pressure temperature ratings? Answer. Flanges are classified based on pressure temperature ratings as hash A 150, hash B 300, hash C 400, hash D 600, hash E 900, hash F 1500, hash G 2500. Question number 7. How can flanges be classified based on pipe attachment? Answer. Flanges can be classified based on pipe attachment as slip on. The slip on type flanges are attached by welding inside as well as outside. These flanges are of forged construction. Socket weld. The socket weld flanges are welded on one side only. These are used for small bore lines only. Screwed. The screwed on flanges are used on pipelines where welding cannot be carried out. Lap joint. The lap joint flanges are used with stub ends. The stub ends are welded with pipes and flanges are kept loose over the same. Welding neck. The welding neck flanges are attached by butt welding to the pipe. These are used mainly for critical services where the weld joints need radiographic inspection. Blind. The blind flanges are used to close the ends which need to be reopened. Reducing. The reducing flanges are used to connect between larger and smaller sizes without using a reducer. In case of reducing flanges, the thickness of flange should be that of the higher diameter. Integral. Integral flanges are those, which are cast along with the piping component or equipment. Question number 8. What is centering ring in connection to spiral wound gasket? Answer. Spiral wound gaskets are provided with carbon steel external ring called centering ring. Question number 9. Normally where do we use the following? 1. Eccentric reducers. 2. Concentric reducers. Answer. Eccentric reducers is pump suction to avoid cavitation, to maintain elevation, BOP, in rack. Concentric reducers is pump discharge, vertical pipeline etc. 
Question number 10. From which side of pipe will you take a branch connection? Answer. When fluid is gas, air or steam and cryogenic service at top side. When fluid is liquid at bottom side. Question number 11. Why don't we take a branch for cryogenic service from bottom side though the fluid is in liquid state? Answer. There is the chance of ice formation during normal operation and since ice flows from the bottom of the pipe it will block the branch pipe connection. Question number 12. Why do we provide high point vent, HPV, and low point drain, LPD, in piping? Answer. HPV is for removing air during hydro test. LPD is for draining water after conducting hydro test. Question number 13. What do you mean by jacketed piping? Answer. Piping which is recognized as providing the most uniform application of heat to the process, as well as maintaining the most uniform processing temperatures where steam tracing is not capable of maintaining the temperature of fluid constant. Usually used for molten sulfur, polymers service. Question number 14. What is the basis of using of short radius and long radius elbow? Answer. Long radius elbow are used for small pressure drop whereas short radius elbow are used for high pressure drops. For catalyst flows very long radius elbows are used. Question number 15. What do you mean by IBR and which lines comes under IBR preview? Answer. IBR, Indian Boiler Regulation Act. Steam lines with conditions listed below comes under IBR preview. Lines for which design pressure is 3.5 kg per square centimeter and above. Line size above 10 inches having design pressure 1.0 kg per square centimeter and above. Boiler feed water lines to steam generator, condensate lines to steam generator and flash drum. Question number 16. What are well let and socket? And where they are used? Answer. Weld lead and socket lead are basically self-reinforced fittings. Weld lead is used for butt weld branch connection where standard T is not available due to size restrictions and the piping is of critical. High pressure service. Socket lead is used for socket welding branch connection, which require reinforcing pad. Question number 17. What is the normal upstream and downstream straight length of orifice flow meter? Answer. Upstream 15D. Downstream 5D. Question number 18. What is the most commonly used material for gasket? Answer. Compressed asbestos fiber. Question number 19. Which type of gasket is recommended for high temperature and high pressure application? Answer. Spiral wound metallic gasket. Question number 20. Which material is used as filler material for spiral wound gasket in case of high temperature services? Answer. For very high temperature services, graphite filler is used. Thanks for watching the video. Please do not forget to subscribe the channel.